yeah, I just want to go ahead and drop this. Um, I guess I will be among the first of the, you know, <laughs> crypto content makers out here to uh, make people aware. Uh, now, I'm really hoping that their website has been uh, hacked, right, or something. They've had some type of attack and that they have somehow, um, you know, gotten this message like thrown up on their website. But from the looks of it, I mean, I'm just finding this out. I'm reeling right now. If this is this, if this is true, okay, because Final Mente has uh, apparently left the building, right? And they've decided to, if this is true, leave a typed out un. Um, hang on, Danielle. I'm doing a video. I'll get back to you in a second. Um, but anyways, though, <laughs> they've got a typed out message here. Um, stating, I mean, I'll just read it. Dear members, it comes with a heavy heart that we have to inform you uh, that due to, to the demise of MTI, which shouldn't have shit to do with you guys' business in terms of sustainability. But anyways, um, we too have lost substantial, a substantial amount of money, not only due to the investment we have had with them, uh, but also the revenue stream of advertising, Okay. Uh, as most of you know, our business was based on adver or was advertising based. Uh, MTI being one of our largest clients in that aspect of our business, due to the false impression of our association. Is it false? Because if it ain't too false, if you guys have taken off and run off with the money, I mean that puts you spot on with what they're doing. Um, but yeah, due to the false impression of our association with MTI, a large portion of our clients have canceled our mandate. Okay. Uh, that ain't got shit to do with us, your members. But anyway, moving on. Uh, due to this, we have lost a substantial portion of our income. Well, good. You better pay back as many members as you can, including myself. As a result, we are no longer lucrative enough with BTC flying off the rails right now. Y'all aren't lucrative enough to continue trading. Really, I'm even trading, making, you know, I've made a few thousand dollars in the last few days. Uh, and we have, <laughs> we've had to retrench our staff and suspend all further trade. Really? Okay. This website will be suspended for an indefinite period, meaning it's over, right? Uh, we will keep you advised of any further developments. We apologize for any inconven <laughs> inconvenience. Really? Any inconvenience? All right. Um, and um, yeah, we apologize for any inconvenience that this has caused with regret. Really? Do you regret throwing up this bullshit ass message on your main page? Management at Final Mente Global. Are you serious? Um, so once again, I, w I mean, I was just over here like five minutes before I saw this message to look at my account, which I was able to log into, saw that, you know, I had actually had someone who had put in a deposit that I had gotten a, a commission from, right? Um, but anyways, so, you know, I was, oh, man, I, if this is so, it sucks, right? No doubt about it, because I had a almost a half a Bitcoin sitting on this fucking platform. Um, I really hope that this is a joke. <laughs> I really do, because once again, you know, this is really putting a stain on South African countries. You know what I mean? I don't think I'll ever be, you know, I mean, well, here's the deal. You know how it goes out here in the crypto space with these programs. Um, nothing is guaranteed. I mean, I you know preach that all the time. Um, I am in disbelief right now. I mean, with with Mirror Trading International, you know, you well spoken, um, unbelievable mother efforts who have put on such a professional show. You know what I mean? In terms of the, uh, you know what I mean? Just being seeming seemingly being very sincere and doing Zoom calls and all kinds of stuff. And then this is how you're going to tell your, your members. And if you go to the Telegram, I mean, again, I don't know if the Telegram was run by their. Um, hang on one second. If I can find. 
the um, Final Mente, which had about 4,000, which is unbelievable. That, that's the amount of members that they had, um, 4,334, which isn't that many members for as many people that were on board with this company. And the, yeah, the site is, I mean, not the site, but the, the group, um, the messages have been closed. I mean, I just left a message in here myself um, a few minutes before I started this video, right? Like, what the fuck is going on is what I put in here. And uh, boom, 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 a few more messages. And a lot of people joined the group out of nowhere trying to find out what's going, hey, what's up? And here we see that writing messages is no longer allowed in this group. Where is um, Cobus or and, and Jackie and all of them? They don't got no. They just run off. They just just like Johan, just run off into the uh, sunset, like this sunset right we see right here. Um, and you got nothing to say. There's no admins or nothing over here saying nothing. I am in. I'm in shock. I, mean, I really am. Right. I mean, yeah, it sucks. Thankfully, you know, well. I got money. I mean, taking a hit like that, I mean, that was basically about $12,000 um, that I had sitting on this platform. Maybe more than that, because it was like half a Bitcoin, maybe like 0.45 Bitcoin, close enough to half that, um, yeah, they don't got no admins in here. Like, what is going on? Um, all right, well, I'm going to leave it at that. I mean, it just really sucks. I mean, I even though that uh, Gary, you know, Crypto Analyzer, he just put out a video talking about how fantastic you know their customer service was actually he put them at the best customer service that he's ever seen right now that's a lot right and usually Gary I mean he he goes through stuff with a fine tooth comb and he had said that um, that he had actually seen evidence um, that Cobus I guess had given him evidence of you know their financial dealings so I mean that's why I'm extra shocked I mean I just if you guys watched my last video that I did where I was doing a Bybit kind of tutorial, um, and then on the end of that, no, actually, I'm sorry, I did a Bybit tutorial, and yeah, and then on the end of that video, uh, or in the midway, I did, you know, um, kind of an update about Final Vente. I reactivated one of my plans, um, and uh, yeah, and then I ended it with actually Gary. Um, you know, running through like a th three or four minute video that he did where it was just a brief overview of how happy he was with the, with the platform. I mean, and oh, <sighs> well, just another day in crypto. Thank God for Bybit. Because <laughs> on Bybit, yeah, I mean, again, I get my money, right? You know what I mean? I have been able to make some trades um, and earn a pretty substantial amount of money in the last couple of days, but. It is not a good feeling, right? To see some platform just pull the rug and leave a like a a three sentence message on their site talking about sorry we're we're closing up shop. Good luck out there. Um, you have got to be kidding me. Got to be kidding me. Hey, well, anyways, you know, buy it. These guys are um, <laughs> you know what I mean? A regulated company, well established, well known, billions upon billions of dollars like floating through. Uh, on a regular basis, you know, again, I do not recommend you go, you know, 50x on any trades, but if you want to make some money, um, you know, get out there, learn a couple of tutorials on how to do some trades. But anyways, this, this I'm not pitching by bit right now. I'm just saying that thank God I've been able to learn some things and make some money doing my own trading, not depending on, like I said, I mean, I just mentioned on the last buy bit video that I made that I'm trying to learn to trade for myself so that I don't have to depend on these other people um, out here that are saying that they're doing stuff and then not actually doing it. Oh my God. Final Mente, you motherfuckers. Um, anyways, hey, well, with that said, experience crypto 24-7. Yep, another day in crypto. I hope this is a joke. Anyways, that's the deal. I'll talk to you guys on the next update real soon. And uh, hopefully I have a completely um, positive message about how this was, you know, just some some uh, holiday joke or something. All right. Anyways, peace. All right, let me just go ahead and put this ad on. And, uh, yeah, as I was editing the video, getting ready to uh, upload it, uh, yeah, word came in that they sent an email. And, I, yeah, I mean, this is coming from the 
admin at finalmente.global. These motherfuckers. I mean, you... <laughs> you gave no warning, and uh, you're just gonna just hold on to the crypto, huh? All right, so so here's the email. They sent out an email talking about, um, I mean, it doesn't make no kind of sense, right? Finalmente, um, colon, <laughs> Mirror Trading International. I mean, and they had made, when Mirror MTI had run off, they, they put out a statement, uh, Finalmente did, that, yeah, we have no association with uh, Mirror Trading International, and any rumors of such is false, and so on and so forth. Now, I already read through this email. I mean, not the email, because I, it, it's the same exact text that's on their website. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. With regret. You guys don't, you guys don't regret enough. I mean, I guess at least you sent an email, right? Um, Steven, yeah, what's up, man? I'm going to get back to you here in a second, too, man. Um, and these guys are here in South Africa. And um, unfortunately, man, again, you know, with Mirror Trading International and these guys, uh, Finalmente, based out of South Africa, you know, it's it, it's putting a real stain on the South African, um, you know, crypto companies. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't, these I wouldn't, yeah, these guys don't deserve the uh, title of company, you know. This is... This is ridiculous. Yeah. Important news. I bet it is important. Where is our money? Right? Where is a portion of our money? Why don't, why don't you return a fraction of your client's money? Right? You guys. Anyways, though. Just wanted to add this on to the end of the video because, as I said, I was hoping that it was, uh, you know what I mean? That there might have been some misunderstanding that someone had hacked their uh, website. <laughs> you know what I mean? And put this notice up here. But they sent this notice out from their own email. So unless the hackers have hacked into their email, then uh, this shit is legit, right? And I don't mean the company. I mean this fact that they sent the, um, well, that that it's final, right? And final meant it, the whole point. I mean, I remember the dude talking about, you know, the CEO, uh, Kobus, whatever his name is, but that he, you know, stated final meant it. The reason we call it final meant it is because we finally, you know, uh, got a platform that's not going to scam. <laughs> Again, number one rule, okay? Nothing lasts forever. Number two, don't put in more than you can afford to lose. Number three, you know, take your capital out ASAP if you decide at all to gamble. Because that's what this is. I mean, it's gambling, right? I mean, just like on Bybit. Bybit, leverage trading, been around a long time. You can call it a scam if you want to. But it is, um, yeah, it's gambling. You know, I mean, you're gambling. Is the price going to go up or is the price going to go down? You know, it's a gamble. So uh, with that said, um, yeah, that's the deal. Uh, I'm over here trading on Bybit, like I said, <laughs> trying to recoup some of these losses because it's it's a hell of a loss. I mean, again, I'm, I'm basically uh, 0.45, nearly half a Bitcoin in a loss over on Final Mente. Yeah. Um, yeah. Fortunately, I pulled a little bit of profit off of that platform and threw it into things here and there, but... Yeah, I should. I wish I had done a capital release three weeks ago, right? And then have gotten my full um, capital out. That uh, yeah, that I had been compounding. Yeah, uh, be careful on the on the compounding too, right? Compound in a way that you are taking out profits and compounding what you want to um, in a very systematic way, right? Don't leave your just like they say with exchanges. Just like a lot of crypto exchanges have done as well. Let's be honest. It's not just these. You know, platforms um, like Finalmente or whatever the case is, where it's a centralized platform. Um, but even with uh, crypto exchanges, I mean, Coinbase for that matter, if you leave your money on the platform, right, it's not in your wallet. If Coinbase decides to close their website, how are you going to access your money? That's right, you can't do it. If um, whatever it is, if, if, um, Whatever crypto exchange you would like to think about, um, for an example, if they close the website and you have your cryptocurrency on their website, your crypto can be gone just as quickly as it can be on these uh, <laughs> crypto platforms that uh, are out here that we try to leverage our funds with, right? So, I mean, again, hey, tread with caution, all right? Experience crypto 24-7.